And because the woke represents a war on truth, we have no choice but to wage a war on woke. And that is what we're doing in Florida. And that is where we begin tonight. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis headlining the annual Peoria Tazewell County Republican Lincoln Day Dinner in Peoria. It is billed as the largest Republican event in Illinois politics. Our Shabda Vinesh joins us live now in studio. She was there with DeSantis and she's got a closer look at the dinner. Shabna. Yeah, that's right, Shelby. A record-breaking 1,200 attendees packed the Peoria Civic Center, according to Republican Congressman Darren LaHood. DeSantis says Florida's bold agenda and assertive leadership was able to win over Hispanics, women, and independents in the 2022 election. He says the stakes are high and Republicans must reject the culture of losing that has infected their party in recent years. Take a look. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis addressing a ballroom full of Republicans as the keynote speaker of the 2023 Peoria Tazewell County Republican Lincoln Day Dinner. DeSantis hailing his achievements in Florida, fighting what he calls the woke mind virus. We can't have our society devolve into one where truth is optional and where merit and achievement don't matter. We can never ever surrender to the woke mob. We've made the state of Florida the place where woke goes to die. He says Republicans have fumbled elections in recent years and need to start winning again. When you're governing, it's not about entertainment. It's not about building a brand. It's not about virtue signaling on social media. It's about winning and it's about producing results. And we have produced more results than anybody anywhere in the country. Outside the Peoria Civic Center, a coalition of community organizers protested DeSantis' appearance in Peoria. They say they're here to show solidarity with the LGBTQ plus community. Illinois is one of the few states that has a lot of protections for LGBTQ folks. Um, we are number one in the nation right now. And so we want to keep it that way and we want to make that known. They say they do not agree with DeSantis' policies in Florida and want to make a peaceful statement. We are protesting against uh, hateful legislation from DeSantis in particular. Um, we don't want that here in Peoria. Um, he has no place here and we want to have fun. This is a fun time. Now DeSantis also touched on the importance of getting the southern border under control. Title 42, a COVID era policy that expelled migrants, expired last night. Shelby. All right, Shabnam, thank you so much.